Hello and welcome to my adventure, riding the entire world by motorcycle. And I'm riding a Honda monkey bike, a 125cc motorcycle. And the thing of it is, I'm doing it stage by stage. So I am literally riding to one point, storing the bike and coming back. Now my poor little Ashworth Honda monkey cycle, that's the name by the way, Ashworth, has been stored here in the Pyrenees for three months. And it's been a difficult three months not to come back, but I am back. And this is the beginning of series eight of riding the entire world. So let's get this bike out of deep storage and let's get it prepared to ride all the way from here, the Pyrenees, Malvasi in the Pyrenees, all the way to Lake Como in Italy, where we can sip a coffee and enjoy a spectacular view. But let's get good old Ashworth out of storage and ready for the road. Okay, that's been in there for three months. Had a few leaves and stuff on it, but look at it. Just look at it. Now I haven't put the key in the ignition because I want to keep this as true and raw as possible. Let's see if it will fire up. Let's find out, come on. But look, that little 125 has brought me so far. It's about to take me so much more further, but it needs some love. <laughs> it's in a state, but I love this bike, okay. Here we go, ignition, power, here we go. Okay, come on Ashworth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's prime it. Come on. <laughs> you beautiful, beautiful bike. <laughs> well, it's never struggled to fire before, but that was a long time she did. I think the front wheels tyre wise is flat but anyway come on Ashworth you beautiful beast let's get it round this is going to be tight come on baby There we go. 
go. So straight away, straight away, that tire is pretty flat. What happened the last two legs, I've had to put air in it. It survived the leg, you like using losing a couple of PSI, but I've got some foam. So I'm gonna put some foam in that in a minute, just to make it last a little bit longer until it goes into a garage and gets replaced. The chain on this is stretched from the last time. So I'm gonna to try to replace the chain today and I'm gonna try and do the oil. And depending on this light and the time of day, I'm gonna try and give it a clean because this little Honda monkey bike hasn't been cleaned <laughs> pretty much since I left. Not just that, it's covered in Sahara sand from the Sahara desert, loads of weather. It deserves some love. So we're going to see what I can do today. So this is going to be interesting. So let's get on with it. Now the chain that's on it is heavy duty and I'm replacing it with the same heavy duty chain because that got me halfway around the UK on a around the UK trip and it's got me a whole year going around the world. So this chain is awesome, but I'll show you the state of the current chain and how I'm going to do it because this is the job that I'm not looking forward to doing the most. So as you can see, this was adjusted to its maximum. Yeah. My plan of it is, is to take off this uh, little clip here, push the prongs out, and I'm gonna zip tie, using a zip tie, the new chain on and put it round to save me having to take off the actual cover here. That's the plan to save time. But I need to take that off, then I need to adjust the chain so I've taken all, basically put a load of slack back on before I pull it through, put the new one on. That's my current plan, but most things go wrong and this should be a really easy job, but I can guarantee it's not gonna be. Right, there's the link. I don't think that screwdriver is big enough. And that's been on there for a long time. Jesus, you will come off. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, beautiful thing you. So now I've slackened the chain off. All I've got to do is push the links, the link out like so. Come on, baby. There we go. Pop that through here. Right now, in theory, we just pull it through. And that is how it's done. All I need to do is slide this. No, 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 no. Get to where you need to be. And there. Now this on here. Just to push this onto here. Ah, come on, baby. And you're on. One. Yes! <laughs> well, that is how you put on a chain in true 11 out of 10 style. No faffing, no messing. It's nice and shiny, so I will give it some chain lube towards the end. Next job, though, I want to do is actually I'm going to put some the spray foam. So over here, I've got the spray foam. I'm going to put some spray foam in that front tyre, and then I'm going to repump it tomorrow. And hopefully it will just stop it from losing that little bit until I can get that change. So I don't want that to have issues on the way. And I'm also gonna warm it up a little bit and then I'm gonna obviously drop the oil out and replace the oil. I'm not out of breath in any way. I'm just pleased it's working so far. That's the chain done, oil done, tire done. It'll be good for another few thousand miles, I am sure. Here we go, look. Ooh. So that's running to warm up. It's my dad there, look. Keeping me company, passing me the Bonjour. tools. Are you um, are you impressed with my work? Unbelievable. Yeah, you, I like the bit where we did the chain with the plastic ties. It's clever, isn't it? I would have got stuck on that. <laughs> Do you not think now I've shown how amazing my skills are that people are going to be requesting me to help them sort I, their bikes out? I've got a request. Yeah, go on. I've got a reversing camera, <laughs> like you did. From my review. From your review, with good discount. I got from the, all the codes you sent, but the problem I've got is I don't know where to put it. Oh, well, it goes on the back of your car. Anyway, he really wants me to fit his camera, so yeah. he's, he's keeping me company so I don't forget. Yeah. Just a reminder. <laughs> Just a reminder. Right, I'm going to change this oil, clean the bike, fit a camera now, and my dad's going to go and get me a beer, yeah? What, now? Yeah, I want a beer. 
Well, is it time? It's time. I'm getting to that point where it's time for a beer. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's time for a beer. Yeah. Beer, oil. It'll what? Be dark in six hours. What? It gives me six hours of beer drinking. <laughs> right, I'm going to do the oil. It's the last thing to do and then Bot clean it, actually. Bottle or a glass or any particular Bottle, please. type of beer. Do you want English beer, French beer, or Spanish beer? Oh, I'm English. You want an English beer? I just want a lager. To be fair, a refreshing one. Not anyway, I'm, I'm going to do the oil. Okay, I'll choose. Just pick us a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I love him to bits. Right, let's do the oil. Let's get it done. A little bit of a clean, reorganisation, and that'll be good for its ride tomorrow. And I'll be set to do a billion miles on it with all my personal awesome skills. Right, let's crack on. We're getting this done. Okay, okay, more job then, deal, baby. There we go. Mm. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Right, here we go. This takes just under a litre, but basically a litre. Okay, so that's the oil change. Sipping a beer, let it warm up, just double check the level. But Ashworth deserves a clean for the first time in a year. <laughs> it deserves a clean. This beer's going down well. I'm just so happy to be back here. So happy, let's give Ashworth a little bath. Bring it back to its former beauty. And then Ashworth is back, ready to kick some butt. I love this bike, bloody awesome. <laughs> So, my bike's ready. You've seen a proper professional at work. Now, as always, I rarely ever do a leg by myself and I have a special guest come in to do a leg with me who has been on my vlogs before named Julian. He's a patron, massively supports my channel and he's ridden all the way from the UK over the last three days. He's staying in a hotel down the road, but you've invited him for dinner. So he's had three days of French food. So we're gonna go for pro proper traditional English food tonight. So what are you cooking him? It's not English. <laughs> what? Go on. It's not French. No. It's not Spanish. Yeah. It's one of those things that you like, I like, and I hope he likes it. Yeah, but what is it? Everyone wants to know. It's um, chicken tikka masala. Chicken, look at the camera, tell them yeah, all. Chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Why? Do, do that accent again. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, Very you... nice. Are we pop it on? <laughs> None bread. You know you can't do that. What, can't speak? <laughs> you told me to speak in the language of the curry. So what you're guaranteeing is, is we'll all get the runs tomorrow. Very odd. <laughs> it's very, very odd. odd, very nice. It's nice on the way down, but not on the way out. Right. <laughs> you need, you need Eisel toilet paper. Only what? Eisel toilet paper. What's Eisel toilet paper? Is that shiny white paper? And it's famous in India. That's tracing paper from school. Yeah, but they you did have toilet paper called Eisel before they had tissue. Okay. And Eisel, they say, you take no shit from Indian. You can't swear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's me demonetised now. <laughs> oh, anyway. Bloody hell, sorry. So <laughs> don't take that. Stop it. Right, I'm going to take the car and pick Julian up in a minute. The one thing I'm going to do is... Uh, excuse me. What? I'm uh, busy. Can you not see I'm a professional at work here? No, no. You've forgotten something. What you want? You want a kiss? <laughs> no, 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 you want no, a no, no, no. You, you have a job for me. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that in a minute. I've got to finish the bite yet. That's more important. You said you were getting Julian. No, no oh, oh yeah, I'm in a minute. But what I'm going to do well, is well, in a minute. What about the car? I'll do your car. It, it, know what the Welsh say. I'll do it yeah, now. No, I'll do it now in a minute. Oh, right. Don't bite <laughs> Accents are going well. I'm going to sort out getting the rest of my stuff out because everything needs charging for the epic vlog tomorrow. Then we'll go and grab Julian. I am going to go and do my dad's car with a camera. But if you want to see that, there is a review. It is bloody awesome as a record as a reversing camera. But I'm not going to put that on today's vlog. I'm going to sort the bike out, get stuff on charge, sort my dad out, pick up Julian, and we're going to come back for a lovely, lovely curry. So to add a little bit of drama onto today, Julian, the guy that's driven all the way from the UK to come and do this adventure with me, 
booked into a hotel called the Barry Hotel. Now, my dad's called Barry, and I thought it'd be really fitting if he stayed at the Barry Hotel. That's extremely posh. He booked in, he was going to treat himself, I was going to pick him up in the car, he was going to come for dinner, and I was going to take him back. Well, he got all the way to the Barry Hotel to find out that they said it's closed because they're having work done. So he showed them his reservation. They said something in French like, bog off, um, what's not so good. So not rating the Barry Hotel near Malvasie, what's down the road, what's not in Malvasie, but you'll find it if you look for it. Don't stay there because they just turn you away at the door, even if you've booked in and it costs quite a bit of money to stay there as well. So luckily, luckily, my parents have turned around and said, we will run around like crazy, sort the spare room out because the spare room is very much like a wardrobe, um, et cetera, for all their stuff. So they're sorting all that out so Julian can come and stay here. Bless them. They're absolute legends. So I'm just waiting for Julia now to rock up. But the poor bloke, he's travelled three days, gets all this way and gets turned down, panicking to find somewhere to stay. But they looked after him. So hopefully, very shortly, a bike will arrive. Julian can chill out, have a beer. Because what happens, always happens on my adventures, is it always works out in the end. And that's literally what's happening today. You just, it wouldn't be right, would it? It wouldn't be the Helmet Head Channel and this well trip if something didn't go wrong and there was some drama. But hey, we're all good. That means Junior's staying here. That means in the morning when we set off, we're all together already. So now we're just waiting for Julian to arrive. Here. Hey. I'm there, sir. Help me out, Ed. Mind your pannier, mind your pannier, mind your pannier. Hello mate, stick it anywhere here. <laughs> He's filming me as well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, there's Lucy. Hello Lucy. Hello everyone. <laughs> That's Alan. <laughs> Hello. Hi <laughs> viewers. So Julian has yes, just sir. arrived. Three days to get here, you get to the hotel, and they tell you to bog off. <laughs> it's closed. The How can it closed. be closed? I've got a booking confirmation, but the hotel's closed. And they said they sent me an email on the 2nd of February, but they didn't. Oh, that's bad. It might be in your junk. It might be. It might be. But, look, you get to stay in the Lord's Palace. And then you can stare at Ashworth as much as you like then as what well. What can I say? It's good, isn't it? Maybe I could put Ashworth in the room. He probably would be very probably good. <laughs> but now you're here. I mean, it wouldn't be a helmet head adventure if it didn't go wrong and then it sort of works out in the end. It wouldn't, would it? Exactly. No, absolutely. But I take it take you just need a beer now. I need. I do need a beer. The guy at the hotel did say he was just be desolate, so he's very sorry. Is well, that what that means? That's I thought what it that meant means, yeah. Bog off in French. Well, bog off, yeah, <laughs> go away. And he did, he did offer me a beer. Well, that's all right then. Yeah, but I well, didn't, still have, not all right, I didn't have one because I was, I've got that. So. Yeah, and you're here now. And I'm here. And now you can have a beer. I can. All yeah. right, should we get you in a beer? Shall we? <laughs> Let's <laughs> do that. <laughs> well, we're finally... Well, come on. I haven't got my beer. So, the end of the first day, the bike's prepared. Julian's made it. Senior Lord here. We're going to see a ching of beer. Ka ching ka ching and now to finish the video for tonight because we're going to chill out i actually had to bring an accordion over that's a long story in a suitcase for my dad that i had to go to high wickham to pick up then it was overweight and i had to pay extra it's been a mission so my dad's going to finish by playing the accordion to everybody to end this video all right okay <laughs> what now yeah now i've got to get it out you've got to get it out you've got to play a tune so i can end the video well, i've got to run in there and get it out and it. come in here yeah, yeah. while yeah. you hold it there i'll well, hold your beer yeah. go on chop you're chop. joking aren't you <laughs> no you're going to end the video you playing the accordion that you don't know what you're doing you've well, only just got it, it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good we'll end it properly